What up, it's your boy Blaze, back with another video. Yes, you're seeing a new TV. I went to Best Buy after talking to Rev on the podcast. He's like, go try it, PC. Fuck it, try it. You want to get it, try it. So I was looking because I called them. They said, yeah, we do have some pre-built gaming PCs. And, and they were all nice, but I said, you know what? Maybe I'll just get a pre-built PC that they got and buy the graphics card. NVIDIA GTX uh, 980 Ti, I, I believe it was. I'm not sure. I was looking at a bunch of shit. And I just happened to glance to the TV section. <laughs> and my curious piece of shit ass goes over there. And I start asking, where's your uh, LG OLED 65 inch? It's right there on display. But it costs 3000 and we don't even carry it. I'm like, what do you mean you don't carry it? Why do you have it on display then? He's like, well... Uh, certain Best Buys carry the really big, uh, the big Best Buys with the mag, mag, I forgot what they call it, some, something that, uh, that are in the TVs, it's a certain part or something that they make it with, like I said, I don't know the exact name, that a bunch of TVs have, and it's like they have their own section for it, but this Best Buy, which is huge, still didn't carry it, okay, fine, where's the KS9000, it's out of stock, cool, Where's your KS8500? It's out of stock. The only one we have is a 65 curved. I was like, dude, I don't want the curve. It looks kind of fatty. It looks spectacular, but I'm like, I just, I just don't want it. I want to, you know, I don't want the curve. You know, it looks, it looks cool, but I don't want it. Do you have the KS8000? No, we don't. He's like, but you know what? Let me just check in the back. Sometimes we get a truck. He comes back. Yeah, actually, we do have a truck, and we have the KS8000 on. I was like, how much is it? He's like, it's a uh, four, you know, it was 1500 Oh, So I stopped looking at it and looking at it. And once I, once I look at something, I'll watch 18 videos about it. I'll fucking research it to the point where I force myself to pick it up. You understand? So I'm like, you know what? Let me take it. Now, people, I have a BMW, a coupe. He's like, you're not going to have to fit it. You know, we can deliver it to you December 8th. I'm like, no, no, no. I'll take it now. Thank you. Well, you shouldn't lay it on it. I'll take it now. Thank you. I'll add a two-year Geek Squad thing, in which I did for 150 bucks. It covers everything. Thank you very much. You know, it, 200 bucks is, it, you know, 200 bucks is 200 bucks, people. Don't get it twisted, okay? Don't get it twisted. $200 is still $200. But I figure... You never fucking know. Samsung does cover it, but are you saying if something else happens to it, you know, they won't cover that part, but we will. And most of the times we can't fix it, so we just replace it. We'd come to your house. If we can't fix it, we'll replace it. Fine. Let's do it. I fucking looked like the biggest retard driving with this fucking TV up to the fucking steering wheel. I look so retarded. Uh, anyway, get it home. Remove my SUHD Samsung that I already have, like I told you. Put it in the living room. Now that TV is looking beautiful in the living room. 50 inch, nice. Still got HDR, all that. I hooked this shit up. It looked so goddamn big. I had to turn the brightness down. I finally got used to it. Okay? But all I can tell you guys is, from the KS8000 to the 85 to the 9000, they're exactly the same. Okay, they, they, they're, they're so similar. Only thing really different is, you know, the stand, the bezel, and they got some tiny added features. Like this got quantum dot, HDR. It has all the same features, the main features that you want. And the fucking screen looks spectacular. Do you understand? I was bigging up the other TV, HDR and 4K. No, no, no. I don't know if it's the size. I don't know. Listen, from a 2015 model to a 2016 it is a a massive difference. The, the 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 quality in the 2016 SUHD from the, like I said from the 8000s and up it is unbelievable. What a difference, okay? And I'm shaking because I'm so people. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, pull down your pants, go ahead, whatever. Oh, do what you gotta do right there. Oh, my. It looks so good. I'm not, look, man. Oh, stop it. People, this TV is the KS8000. 
85, uh, 8,000, excuse me. And it looks fucking spectacular. Not only is it massive, I wish I could show you it. Like on the screen, I, I'm sure it looks big, but, you know, looking through it from, you know, it doesn't do it justice, man. It, it looks like I have a movie theater set up in my room. This is my tiny room. You know, it's not tiny, but it's a fucking bedroom. It's a standard-ass bedroom. It looks huge. You understand? Um, I'm going to be making all those same videos you already see me upload. Get ready, because it's going to happen again, people. This game looks so crystal clear, and the colors are so vivid. The HDR, everything about this TV shits on my other TV, and I love my other TV, and I think it has some of the best color, the colors I've ever seen, but, you know, the, with the size difference, the clarity, you know, I feel like the HDR, is it, it's much more noticeable on this TV, it just, it's amazing, okay, um, people like Hard 8 Times got this model, I think he's got the 85, Mr. 4K Upscaler has got the exact same model I do, uh, it is just a great TV. It's a solid, solid TV. I recommend it. Uh, GeForce, my boy GeForce, uh, he's always in the comment sections. He's got the 9000. That thing must be awesome, too. You know, guys, Samsung, I almost went with a Sony, to be completely honest, because I just, I was look. I, Sony's got these, you know, I don't know what it was. The colors just look good. They were showing, like, a Las Vegas time lapse and it looks so fucking good you know and i almost went sony but you know my last three tvs even for my my 1080p oled samsung 42 inch i had at the time and I, I had you know i had no problems with it and uh only thing i did have was a uh it was shut off and shut off and shut off i had to change something on it i forgot what it was called but uh, i am so bl i am so blown away at this fucking tv people okay I am so blown away. It, it 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 is, it is like I bought. I don't I don't know. It's like I have a new. It's crazy, man. Guys, I I don't know what to tell you anymore. I mean, if you know, I don't know what to tell you. Like you need to get a 4K TV. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I'm not getting. I'm not. I don't care. Go get it. Like, it is, it is, it is such, it makes such a fucking difference. It's like, and by the way, Overwatch, hold up a second. Overwatch beats out Uncharted for the game of the year. A multiplayer only shooter. A normal, oh, well, it's a different kind of shooter. And is you know, I don't care. And I look, Overwatch is a good game. From everybody I've talked to, they said it's an amazing game, okay? But it's multiplayer only. I just, the environments in this game, you know, I, I don't know, man. You know, I don't want to get into it. I might get a lot of flack for that, but I don't, that's my opinion. I mean, if you're going to get mad at someone's opinion, people, you have, you have fucking problems. I'm sorry. It's your opinion. This is my opinion. You know, um, but, you know, that's, that's for a different fucking video, man. This fucking TV, people... I don't know what to say anymore. This TV is so fucking awesome. Okay? So, this is the KS8000. These are my early impressions, but I am probably not going to make another video because this TV looks so goddamn good. I, like, I'll say it again. Man. It looks so goddamn good. I don't even have my 4K theme set up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, got a, I just bought whatever ones they were selling at the time. Let's see what they got. And this purple is definitely going to go. So, um... Let's see, themes, by the way, I have it, like I said, I spent a lot of money on bullshit, okay? Uh, let's just pick a random 4K theme, is this, yeah, 4K. Wow. Anyway, people, <laughs> I mean, even the remote. The remote people, okay, is so tiny. It's so easy. Just boom. I hit the home button. 
simple button, boom, brings up all my inputs. It already reads it as a PlayStation, you understand? And I would have the Xbox One picking up, but I don't have it. I unplugged it and I brought it in the living room. Um, the TV is so, the ease of use, the color already, I didn't have to even touch, I didn't calibrate it at all. I just, you know, put on game mode, um, put on movie mode, uh, did a couple settings so the HDR is functioning properly, and, and that's it, man. I mean, it's ready to go. It looks spectacular. This is the Tizen, I think they call it. Yeah, they definitely updated it. The smart features from the 2015 models. I'm so happy with it. Uh, and I would recommend it 100%. You know, 8,000 and above, they're pretty much the exact same thing. Other than what they're made with in a couple small features. You know, um, massive. 65 inch. It looks massive. It, it looks... I haven't even... Look. I haven't, I haven't even peeled the plastic off. It's, you know, it, and it's, look at this shit. Look how thin it is. It's, it's ridiculous. Don't forget who's king around here, baby. All right. Oh, yeah. Pick this trash up. Pro support. Pro members, 349. Probably play it once, look at it, say, ooh, we can be done with it. All right. I'll holla. It's your boy, Blaze. Later. Now, real quick, guys, I'm sorry before I got, this was another major reason for me, and it, for you, it might be, you know, not a big deal, but for me, okay, when you went to, when it came to, um, you know, for the Xbox One S and for the PlayStation 4 Pro, for Samsung TVs, okay, there's a special feature, okay, I'm going to go to Expert Settings, I'm going to go down to, here it is, HDMI ultra high definition color okay and if you don't turn this on the xbox one s the playstation pro will not recognize it okay now my tv had this and everything and it gave me all four options to turn on right but i only could keep one at the one at the same time it was the hdmi one and it was the only one that i could have the hdmi color on you understand and it was a pain in the ass for me to switch off and on and to switch HDMI and plug in the S and then take out the S and put the PlayStation Pro in. You know what I mean? I just, I'm like, fuck that. I want them all on. You know what I mean? For instance, boom. I want them all on. I didn't want, I didn't want to fucking go back and forth. You know, it's a pain in the ass for me. It's a pain. It's a complete pain. So for me, this is awesome. Anything I get 4K related, it's going to work. I don't have to unplug HDMI ports. I don't have to buy a splitter. It's going to work. All right. So that was just a little thing. You know, if you got this, guys... It's not a game break, it's not a deal breaker at all, but for me, it was just a pain in the ass, and I like ease of use, you know? So, on my other TV, like I said, I have the ultra high definition color, but it, I only could use HDMI 1. That was the only input, you know, that would, um, er, all the other inputs supported 4K, but with HDR and the, and the rest of this shit, you know, you need that so, so it can send the signal and can recognize what it does, you understand? So, that's all. That was another big reason for me switching the TV and uh, you know and for the living room it's fucking perfect for for our standard PlayStation or for the Xbox One S because that's going to be in the living room collecting dust when the Scorpio comes out so you know what I mean so that's all but just so you know if you get a Samsung TV make sure if you're not going to, to the settings or the expert settings whatever they, you know whatever they call it on your model you got to turn this on Okay, I'm, and I'm sure everybody knows by now, but, you know, I had to figure this out a while ago, before Digital Foundry and all these people, you know, I should, I just figured it all myself, I figured, you know, it made sense, you know, but anyway, I love the TV, and I recommend it, you know what I mean, the top three TVs on the market, my opinion, Sony, LG, Samsung, okay, I'll holler.